grated cheese, and as you cut in, work on post. Yeah. Uh, that's actually good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Focus Mechanical. Uh, today we are putting a set of airbags into this Triton here. Now these are not the airbags that are going to save your life in a crash, and they're not the airbags that go in a woman's chest. <laughs> right. Uh, unboxing, let's get into this and find out what's in it. Uh, oh, by the way, my name's Clinton. I'm Saul. And uh, yeah, we're Focus Mechanical. So. Let's get cracking on installing these. But first of all, we have to get them out of the box and have a look what's in here. So, get our open man. Coming really close, so we've got to be very delicate to cut through this because you don't want to cut the airbag inside. So, we're just going to be very precise and cautious. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Ah, oh, Oops, mate. Sorry about that, damaging it. How good is that? Alright, let's have a look. I'll put that away before I hurt myself. <coughs> Get out! Ah! Now that's that's something with a key piece there. So these are our airbags. They're gonna go on top of the leaf springs in the uh, vehicle and push up to the chassis and hold the chassis up a bit. Now let's see what else is in here. That's what you get in a kit. So you get all your nuts and bolts and securing bits and your valves. This piece here though, so we need to come back to that. If you ever order one of these airbag kits, this is your, this is your uh, little bracket holder. And very handy to have because the last one I've got of these, it didn't come with it and they stopped. I didn't realize they used to just come with it and I just assumed they still did. Uh, but they don't come with it anymore. So what this is, is your mounting plate for these so you can screw that up onto the car rivet it to the car and then that mounts your valve that pumps up your airbag so your hose goes in the back of that and these are just a pressing pushing fitting when they push in they lock and I probably shouldn't have done that because you can't get them back out no that's a lie you can get them back out they're just a, a push a push in fitting and then you can pull it back out but that will just push in and once it gets pressure in it, that locks and will not come out. But when you order the airbags, what I'm getting at is, the important bit is ask for this extra piece. It doesn't come with the airbag kits anymore, um, but I think it should. Airbag man, keep putting them in because people need these to mount them correctly. Okay, now for finding the actual information for the installation for this, it's really, really easy. Just go to airbagman.com.au and on their page, you can just go and Put in your make, model, um, what year, etc., and the height options. This one is a standard suspension height. And then it'll come up with this here. Uh, down the bottom, you've got instructions. So we can go to instructions, download now, and I've already downloaded it, and I'm printing it out as we speak. And here they are. Now we've got our fitting instructions. We can go and fit. Okay, these have got two different part numbers on it. One is a 2494. That one is the left-hand side, and the 2495 is the right-hand side. You can find this out by checking out in the instruction manual that you can download. As we just found out, make sure you don't put it this way in. Yes, it will go onto the airbag easier that way because it lines up, but once you've got it on there, you can't turn it around to have it facing the other way. So we've got to take this back off. Down here is the correct way. Have it facing this way, feed it over like that, and then you can get it over that valve. Now we're gonna put the lower bracket on, and it is as simple as putting these two bolts in. And these are able to be finger tight. 
they have room to be tightened uh, while they're in the car. Okay, we've got a rev nut here. This is gonna secure the top mount into the chassis here. But to get this in so it lines up straight, we've got to actually put a bit of a bend in it. Um, so we're just gonna line up that through the hole there, hold that in position because the nut's not gonna be long enough to reach. So I'm gonna mark this here and we'll just put a bit of a kink in it and make it kinky. Like that. Okay, now that's in, I'm just looking at this whole assembly. Uh, I'm, I don't like the look of this uh, sticking out. So we're gonna pull this back out and I'm gonna paint that, paint that black before we go ahead with installing it. So here uh, we have the uh, mounting bracket for the valves. Now we were going to mount it to the chassis here, uh, but seeing as the bumper was in the way, we actually made a spacer for it so we'll be able to have easy access to them and they can be fitted accordingly. Ta-da! Okay, now there's a little bit of a trick and technique that I've got personally. I uh, don't know if anyone else does it this way, but I'm going to teach Saul while you guys are watching of where he needs to cut this to give it the right length. So what I line up with, uh, we've already ran all the hoses right through to the, get it at the right length and we've got all it cable tied and it's secure where it needs to be and it's not gonna move from here. So I overlap this past the valve like that. And then what I'm gonna do is actually put the knife through where I know the end of the plastic is gonna come into the valve and it comes in about halfway through that nut. So we're gonna cut this about there and that'll be halfway through in that nut and then when you insert it it's going to have plenty of meat to get inside it and also the sheath will pull back a little bit and be able to come back and sit snug up against it like that one is already there so halfway through the nut yep nice sharp knife will put it in there now yeah you pull the sheath back so you've got that there now we don't cut these with uh, side cutters and i'll show you why in a second push that right in yep won't come out you Pull on it and it's fine. Yep. Now just pull, sort of shimmy this back a little bit and then that'll sit nice and snug and cover it completely right up to that fitting. So why don't we cut it with side colors? <laughs> right, so versus. Here is it being cut by a knife. Notice that it remains circular in shape. Yep, it's nice and square. Now if I was to take something like some side cutters and go and cut this, it puts a pinch in it. And when you look at it, let's get it on the silver so we can see it. Uh, when you look at it straight up and down, see it's got that little bit of a sharp daggy end and it's not gonna go in and seal when it goes into the actual fitting in the uh, back of the car properly. So now we're gonna put some air in it and do a leak test to make sure we've got no leaks here at the fittings where these join and also make sure we've got no leaks where they join up to the airbags and also make sure the airbags are sealed. Thought I'd simulate a leak here, so spray it. And this is what you'll get when you have got a leak and that's not audible. There is a very slight leak there uh, that I created using the tire valve remover. Um, so that's just basically on the cap for these that will unscrew the valve out so you can actually let all the air out of the system. Uh, but yeah, that's what a leak will look like. Now we've done the leak test, we're just blowing all the uh Soap your water away so it's nice and clean for the customer. Okay, now that we've got everything installed, we've moved the vehicle around a little bit to get it level. Uh, we're going to put air, air in the bags at the back, but first we'll do a measurement of its height and then put air in with it going up to its maximum pressure and then measure it again and compare the differences. So we missed the footage of measuring the heights, but here you get to see it at the full height with all air in, and I'm about to let all the air out of the bags and drop the vehicle down, you get to see it lower. So 
Sick. And as always, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll have a new video up every Thursday. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.